In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the E-mini S&P. It's been on a hot run lately, as we're all aware, and we've been watching this market. And the biggest question I get from a lot of my clients is, how do I get into this market? I'm not in it. How do I get into a market that just never has a pullback and gives you an opportunity to get back into the market? So this market has just been going straight up, and the last time we got a signal for entry was clear back in August. So if you're waiting for a signal, of course, we've got the blue light that comes in here, and these are some re-entry signals, right? So these are some re-entry signals. And we got one more little re-entry signal right here. So there was a couple of opportunities based on the bulls and bears of where we could have got back into this market or into this market for a long position and started riding this Trump train. So if you want to jump on the Trump train, let's come in here. And I'll show you how to get into the market without, you know, it's like I'm, I feel like I'm missing it. What do I, you know, what am I going to do? I want to get in on this. Now, everybody keeps saying, you know, wait for the pullback, wait for a pullback. We just never get one. So it's like, well... Should I just, how, you know, do I just want to buy and get in? Well, that's not always the greatest thing either because where are you going to put your stop? If you do that out here on the daily chart, let's draw a dollar calculator in here real quick. If you if you just jump in and say, okay, I'm going to put my stop one bar behind the bar, behind the market, well, that's, that's $1,900. That's a big risk just to say I'm going to jump in, put my stop one bar behind the market uh, as a stop loss protection. 1900 bucks. That's a big market. This is a big market out here on the on the daily chart. So let's come down to a smaller time frame. Let's come down to the range bar chart, and I'm going to show you something. The problem with the range bar chart is it's it's you know it's not perfectly going straight up either. It's got a lot of jigs and jogs, and it rallies and pulls back and rallies and pulls back. For the most part, of course, it is it's on the big Trump train and it's rallying, but it does have these pullbacks in here. And so, how do we handle this? How do we manage this? How do we get into this market when we're trying to just jump on this Trump train and let's just draw a dollar calculator in here and see where we put maybe a stop on here. If this market from there to there, that's a $500 move, and still that's quite a significant risk on a stop to try and just say, well, I'm just going to get in, hold my stop back. How far? 500 bucks, you know. But you get an arrow like this, you know, and you want to hold your stop back. How far do you have to have your arrow back? Well, it looks like about $250 is about the stop from an entry to a previous low. And that's what you want to do. You can't dictate to the market how much it's swing trading uh, through these different pullbacks and rallies. You have to take what the market gives you. And if you're going to trade the E-mini S&P, you have to hold your stop back about 250 bucks to get an entry and back behind the lowest point of resistance or, or support. And then the same thing here. We got about a $250 on this arrow on the downside where you can see we would have to put our stop to be back behind the highest point of resistance. So we always have to use the areas of support and resistance is where we're going to put our stop. So we have to calculate that out and figure out what that is. Now, here's a, the strategy for entering this market. What we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to let the autopilot do it for us. All right. And we're going to do the, the what I call the fits and starts program. Okay. So we're going to do fits and starts. We're going to come in here and I'm going to show you how to set this up. First thing we're going to do is going to get it a name. We're going to give it my, this is the name. We're going to say this is a, a fits and starts. Okay, I'm just going to call it fits and starts, my secret strategy, whatever you want to call it. We're going to come in here, we're going to use the bulls and bears as our indicator, so we're going to just tag that in here, bulls and bears. We're going to slide down here, trading quantity, we're just going to get in with one contract. You just want to get into the E-mini S&P with one contract, so just put one if you want to do it with two or three, place it here. Place order, we're going to do continuously, all right, because this is the fits and start strategy. We're not going to use time restraints, we're just going to, we're, we're looking to get into this market and stay in this market. Uh, so we're not looking to take the profits, you know, real quickly. So we're not asking the autopilot to take our profits. We're just going to get into the market and jump on the Trump train. This is how we do it. So we're going to come in here. We're going to use market orders. So I don't need any of this thrust bar signal prevention and inactive market signal prevention because we're using a range bar. And then we're going to come in here and we're only going to take long positions. And this is kind of the key right here. Since we want to jump on the Trump train and it's going long, we don't want to take any short positions. We only want to take the long positions. So we come in there, we set that to long. And our ticks, our stops, now remember, we, we calculated that, right? We want that to be about, we're going to have to go up to about 20, which is about a $250 risk on this thing. Not much of a risk because the Trump train's just, you know, it's taken off. But there are times where you might get, uh, have this market move back against you. We don't want to take, we don't want to, we don't want to be jumping in and, and having this thing come back against us. So we're going to come in here, we're going to put our stop in there. 20 points back. 
And we're going to set this up to be a continuous trailing stop until break even. And that's really important. This is the key point. We want to move that stop automatically, continuously up behind the market until break even. And we're not going to have an exit. Okay, no exit. We're going to leave that in there and just let the market move the stop to break even. And once that hits, once that happens, we're on the Trump train. Now, there could be times where we're going to get stopped out, all right? A couple little whipsaws in here. You might have a little whipsaw in there. But if you look back in time, this market's just been going up so so dramatically that there's been almost no whipsaw, no opportunity for this market to even come back and take you out. So you've just been missing this big, long uptrend. You want to get in, so here's how you do it. You do it with the fits and starts strategy off the autopilot. Let the autopilot get you in, and it'll just sit here and monitor this. Next time it gets a buy signal, it'll throw your position into the, into the market. It'll move your stop to break even, and you're on the Trump train. So go ahead, hit that one step, one step more, start trading, and away you go. You're on the Trump train. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade, and it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, and forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then of course we have News Miner. News Miner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. So again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button.